Hi campers, it's Miss Paige. Today I'm gonna show you how to do some dino finger paint. What you'll need for this is some washable paint, whatever color you decide that you would like to use, a paper plate, some tape, a black Sharpie, a piece of construction paper or just plain white paper, and a trash bag or a tablecloth. All right, so our first step is to take our trash bag or our tablecloth and just go ahead and cover your surface that you're working on and take some tape and tape down the edges so that it doesn't go anywhere. Our next step is with our paper plate and our paint, go ahead and put your paper plate down and squeeze some of your paint onto your paper plate. Use a decent amount, enough that you think will cover your hand. That should be enough for me. So there's all my paint. Once your paint is on your paper plate, you're gonna take your piece of paper and just set it out in front of you like that. So you have all of your supplies right in front of you. All right, this next step is my favorite because we're going to use our paint and we're gonna use our hands a little bit. So go ahead and take your paint and place your hand in the paint Make sure that you use enough and you get your whole hand covered, your palm, your fingers, and everything. All right, as you can see, I have covered my whole hand with some red paint. Next, what you're gonna do is go ahead and move your paper right under your hand and go ahead and use your hand as a stamp on your paper. Okay. So here's what mine looks like so far. You want to go ahead and turn your paper upside down so that your handprint is upside down so that we can do our next step. Next, go ahead and take your pointer finger and a little bit more paint and just go ahead and paint on a head for your dinosaur. All right, I have finished using my fingers to paint a head on my dino. I also added a little tail or made it a little bit longer and I filled in some spots that didn't have paint. So you can kind of just do what you want when you're finishing up your dino, but this is what mine looks like. So you can see its head right here and its tail right here. And then these right here are its feet. Our next step is to just leave your dino here on the table to dry so that we can move on to our next step. Okay, I'm back and my dino is dry. This is what it looks like. Our next step is to take our Sharpie and just draw a little face on it. To make this a little bit easier, you can just draw the face or if you wanna make it a little bit harder, you can draw some toes, a background, anything like that. Okay, if you either want something more advanced from that, you can cut out a body from some other construction paper and use your hand to make spikes, or you can just do the one hand print with more hand prints as spikes and come up with a creative name for your dino. But I just did kind of the more middle, middle option. And here is my final product. Here's its little face and I drew some toes on it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this craft just as much as I did and I will see you next week for another one.